Let us take a look at how we can measure the time that it takes for a Python function to execute. This is very helpful, especially if you want to optimize the performance of your algorithms or if you're practicing algorithm interview questions and want to see how long your solution takes. So let me show you the two most popular methods. Let's get started with the first. We're going to import time and then we're going to set the start time equal to time.time. .time. Then we're going to define the function my function and all this function is going to do is it's going to execute time.sleep and it's going to sleep for three seconds. This should simply simulate a function that takes a little bit of time to execute, in this case, three seconds. Subsequently, we're going to execute this function and at the end, we're going to set the end time equal to time.time .time again. So we have basically enveloped the code whose duration we want to measure within a start time and an end time. After that, we can calculate the elapsed time by subtracting the start time from the end time. And finally, we're going to print out the execution time and round the value to two decimal places. So once this is run, you will see that after three seconds have elapsed, the console output says script execution time, three seconds. Let us now move on to the second method. Over here, we're going to import time it, and we're also going to import time. Subsequently, we're going to define the function my function, and again, this function is simply going to simulate a lengthy function, which in this case is simply going to be the sleep function that runs for three seconds. With the second method, we're going to create a variable called execution time, and we're going to set it equal to time it dot time it, and within brackets, we're first going to add the function which we want to time, and second, we're going to add the number of executions that we want to time, which is going to be one. At the very end, we're going to print out the execution time. So if I go ahead and run this, you will see that it will go ahead and print the execution time. And if I now were to change the argument number over here, let's say we want to change it to two executions. That means it is going to measure the execution time of two executions of the function my function. So since the sleep time is three seconds, we're going to execute it twice, which is going to take six seconds. And that is exactly what we get as a result if we go ahead and run this. So you can see in the console output that after six seconds have elapsed, the um, console output says that the execution time is six seconds and um, 0.01. We're going to leave it here for this video. If it helped you out, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see each other in the next video.